Well, our wild and wonderful state has become wet and wonderful this week. Showers and storms continuing on our Friday, a good Friday evening to everyone. And yes, we still have them out there and we still have the threat over the next several hours. You can see they're very scattered across the area. We're not seeing too many of the bright colors. Pocahontas County has been getting hit hard, so I'm watching for flooding over through that area. But the rest of the area, we haven't seen too much of the heavy stuff today. The threat is still there though, and we do have this complex of storms just to our northwest over what looks like Clay County and to the north of that. We're going to see if that makes its way towards the Nicholas County area over the next several hours. Flash flood watch does continue through midnight tonight for most of the area. And in fact, the entire southern portion of the state is in this flash flood watch. So we will have to watch out for the threat of flash flooding tonight. This just means there's the potential, not that it's happening over the entire area. Temperatures are mild, but not necessarily all that warm. We did not get that much sun today, which means we did not get a lot of instability. Temperatures are in the 60s in some places where we have rain cooled air, 67 in Snowshoe and 68 over in Beckley. 70s elsewhere, but only low to mid 70s and without a lot of sunshine. So that's why a lot of these storms are struggling over the area. But hey, that's not a bad thing. But we will have some fog into our Saturday morning. Fog will be pretty dense at times. Visibility is near zero early in the morning, clearing out a little bit through the 8 o'clock hour. Notice those visibilities down to near zero through the coal fields at 8 o'clock, but will quickly clear out by the late morning hours. Lunchtime, we should have much better visibility, and we'll start to see some sun, actually, as we head into our Saturday. Rain chances are still there for at least the beginning of the weekend and maybe a little bit on Sunday. 40% chance tomorrow. Tomorrow's the better rain chances for the weekend. Sunday, not going to be as bad, mostly dry with an isolated storm possible. Warmer temperatures into the 80s, more sunshine out there. If you want to get out and do some outdoor activities, maybe you need some yard work done, do it on Sunday, definitely the better day. But Saturday won't be a complete washout either. Now, in terms of the rain tonight, we do clear out as we lose that daytime heating. A couple showers around still possible. Foggy, misty, that's going to be the theme overnight. Still mild and humid temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Tomorrow, we start off a little bit raw with showers and storms across the area. It's going to be looking pretty gloomy even late in the morning, but don't be fooled. We clear out. We'll see some sun later in the day and a couple showers still possible. They'll move from east to west because we have a backdoor cold front through the area. That means it comes down from the northeast. And then tomorrow night we clear out. We're really not looking at widespread rain for our Saturday. So that's a good thing. That should minimize our flood threat. And then Sunday, another cold front. This one is going to bring us less humid conditions. And this one comes from the northwest. Again, not really, not really much moisture with this cold front. Very moisture starved. It's going to be a weak cold front, but it will bring us cooler and drier conditions going into next week. The flood threat for today still exists. It's a moderate threat across the area. That's a level three. That's one of the higher threats that we've seen in quite some time, but it drops off tomorrow. A marginal threat, the most minor threat out there, level one threat for the entire area. So definitely just keep your eyes peeled. And then as we go into Sunday, that front that's going to drop down from the northwest will bring the most showers to our northwestern areas, Greenbrier, Fayette, and Nicholas counties, Pocahontas as well. So a minor flood threat for Sunday, just because we've had such saturated soils this week. But again, don't expect too much in the way of flooding through the weekend. But what is going to change is the humidity. Look at this gradual decline in the humidity through the weekend. Sunday, Sunday night, that front drops through, and then Monday into Tuesday, we really see those comfortable dew points. It's going to feel very refreshing out there. You're going to be able to give the AC a break if you've been using it this entire week with the mugginess. We continue with the humidity and mugginess through the weekend. That cold front drops through late Sunday, and then look at that cool down through the middle of next week. We'll be back right after the break. <laughs> 